Have you ever looked at your graphics card and gone, God, I wish that was longer than my forearm? Well, Asus has answered your prayers. This is the R9 Fury Strix Edition, and it's one hell of a long, but one hell of a beastly video card. Stick around. <laughs> Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So this is the Fury Strix. Now, as I said, it's not a normal Stri uh, you know, Fury card. This is the Strix edition, which means it's overclocked very, very slightly because of the core, but um, has a beastly cooling solution as well as a little bit more power delivery, um, you know, a little bit of a stronger power delivery system and a pretty cool backplate too. Now, just to give you an idea, that red area there, you can see that's how big the chip is because it has the memory on board as it's a Fiji uh, chip, which means it's got HBM or high bandwidth memory and installed on it. Now this has uh, two 8-pin power connectors to power this beast, although it is only a two-slot card, which is nice and means that, uh, you know, you don't have to take up, well, more than two slots. Now it is quite thick, um, it does extrude quite a bit past the PCB, but that's okay because, well, it's just an awesome looking card in general. Now the rear IO is DVI, uh, has a single DVI port, three full-size display ports, and an HDMI port. Um, also, you just generally get a very nice, as I said, looking card, but also a lot of power. So you get 3,584 stream processors, which in OC mode clock itself at 1,020 megahertz, and you get four gigabytes of HBM memory, which runs at 500 megahertz. Which, don't worry, that's not you know terrible. It's actually pretty amazing. You get some ridiculous, uh, you know, amount of bandwidth because you have 4,096 bit bus, which is ridiculously wide. Now you can actually see the chip here if you see where kind of the boat the boat on the right to the boat on the left is that's how big this chip is and how thick it is as well so um yeah also these heat pipes are massive which kind of uh, i guess can give you an idea of how well this does in temperatures i'll give you a quick hint it does pretty well so in terms of uh, just generally the looks of it, as I said, I really do quite like the looks. The red accents are quite nice as well, and the fact that you get three fans um, means that, as I said, it's ridiculously cool. Um, but also, you actually, it's pretty quiet. I'm, I'm, I was actually pretty surprised, but even in a system, um, it is pretty quiet. Also, on the side, you do get a sort of white LED uh, that lights up on the side to uh, give you some nice cool lighting effects. Um, which is always nice. So uh, yeah, in terms of sort of scoring and stuff like that, as you can see in, uh, in 3D Mark, um, you're looking at about 11,000 points. Now this is with a 6600K, um, so obviously that may differ depending on what you know processor you have. But uh, in terms of Unity Heaven, we're looking at 99 FPS, which is really awesome. A little bit lower than the Fury X, um, if I remember correctly. Um, but uh, obviously as you get just shy of 500 uh, stream processors less, that's kind of fair enough. Now in terms of Dirt Rally, you're getting 73 FPS, which is pretty fantastic as well. Um, obviously this is on Ultra settings, so you can uh, yeah look forward to some pretty nice performance. Also you're looking at 89 FPS from Far Cry 4, again on Ultra settings. These are all in 1080p by the way, um, so just bear that in mind if you did want to run higher resolution but I do think it's going to be pretty capable. Also, on sort of mid, mid to high settings, you're looking at 112 FPS on GTA, which is just incredible. So here's the usual pros, cons, and all my thoughts. So I was actually really impressed with the card. I mean, obviously, as you just saw, performance is fantastic with this. Um, you can blitz through games with ease, and uh, you know, even, I mean, obviously my tests were on 1080p. Unfortunately, I don't have access to a higher resolution monitor at this point in time, although I am working on it. So, you know, bear with me. Obviously, you got some cool things going on anyway but back to this this performed amazingly and not only just you know game performance but also in temperatures now obviously there is a huge amount of you know massive heat pipes um, and just sheer surface area for heat sinks and obviously three fans but uh, I left Unigen heaven running for a couple of hours by accident um, and I came back and this hadn't reached more than 70 degrees C max now that's pretty awesome. I mean, as I said, it's huge and, you know, um, case compatibility might be a bit uh, bit, a bit iffy, but uh, yeah, if you wanted to speak specifically pros and cons, this thing has great temps. It's actually pretty quiet and the fans are very quiet as well. They actually kind of turn off sometimes depending on, you know, how hot your card is running and how hard you're running it. Um, and yeah, you just have amazing performance as well, which is really cool. Um, in terms of rear I.O., it's got everything you'd expect with DVI, HDMI, and display ports, which is nice. Um, nice to actually get a DVI port, unlike the Nano. Um, 
And uh, yeah, the cool things like the power slots, you, the clips are on the top so that you don't run, uh, you know, destroy the back of your uh, fingers on heat sinks. Um, and it just looks really cool too with the kind of the, the back aluminium back plate and the, the actual the shroud looks pretty cool too, even though that's kind of face down. But uh, yeah, I guess that's probably um, it. Let's go on to the score. So it's going to get a four for value money. You do get amazing performance with it, but it is still quite expensive at this point in time. If you do want to check it out, check out Yo Yo Tech in the links down below if you're from the UK or there's worldwide links down there too. But um, yeah, it definitely does look pretty cool. Um, in terms of performance, it's going to get a four. It's not the most performing card or best performing card in the world, um, but uh, it's certainly a killer performing card for, for, for what you get. Um, which is pretty cool too. In terms of functionality, it's going to get a 5 because you get everything under the sun, which is really cool. Um, and obviously all the AMD technologies, including Affinity and stuff like that. And actually the new um, Crimson drivers are coming out pretty soon. So check that out and you'll be able to use that with this, which is cool. Um, also for uh, style, it's going to be a 5 because this thing looks awesome. And Tech Team GB score is going to be a 4. Now, uh, I'm, I'm kind of uh, debating which award to go for here, but uh, I think we're going to go for the Worth Money Award. If you are looking for a new graphics card and you want some high end but you don't want water cooled or you know clothes that water cooled then this card the uh, R9 Fury Strix from ASUS is a killer beast. It will munch through your games. Obviously with the new Crimson Drivers it's actually going to be pretty awesome I think and uh, yeah it just looks cool. Um, just make sure that your case will fit it in as it is literally the length of my forearm so yeah just, just bear that in mind and uh, other than that Enjoy your new graphics card. If you do pick one up, let me know if you do pick one up in the comments down below, by the way. So, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out our other videos, which will be over there and over there as well, I think. Um, and, uh, or, no, over there as well. They're, they're all over there. Um, but, uh, yeah, also, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the uh, Facebooks and Twitters um, for just uh, info and, uh, you know, videos and cool stuff that I get and all that sort of stuff. And if you want me to review anything else, let me know. And, uh, yeah, I'm also doing cool project there's a cool giveaway going right now um, and just loads of stuff happening so yeah check out Facebook and Twitter also check out YoYo Tech for uh, PC hardware techs and the general computers if you want to buy a PC with one of these in it feel free to check them out in the links down below also uh, you know worldwide links to if you want and you're not in the UK um, other than that check out our merchandise for t-shirts and hoodies and that cool kind of stuff and uh, yeah I guess that's it so thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video